everybody, this is Osprey I from MyChartCoach.com and we are looking at ticker symbol S-U-N-E. This first chart is a daily chart and this shows the uh, this downtrend here and then um, a big drop today uh, um, below the descending support line, this green descending support line. So there's this big drop below that and the uh, share price hit down here at three bucks. So that was a big, big pullback today. And then, um, yeah, as you can see here, there was this uh, MACD bear crossover last week. And you've got FASTO and RSI at oversold levels. Okay, let's look at this next chart. This next chart is a daily chart. And this shows, uh, the, the this is going to show the, the drop here below the lower Bollinger Band. The lower Bollinger Band is at 377. Okay, that'll be the first resistance level. Notice this uh, close well below the lower BB. Um, so that, that that's signaling the extreme uh, oversold. If you come up here at FASTO, you'll see it's at 3.57, and RSI is at 22.32. Those are both at you know extreme you know oversold levels, and um, they're hitting this past uh, support levels from um, you know back on previous pullbacks. There was this giant volume spike today. <clears throat> and there was a, a small lower wick on today's candle. So what we're looking for to see if uh, bounce players were loading for the bounce. Um, on the bounce, there would be uh, the, the the first resistance level. Like I said, is the it, it is the the lower Bollinger Band now at 377, and then EMA8 at 419 will be this uh, first key level to close above. A close above that level puts um, EMA8 at 506 on deck. And then uh, this is a closer look. You can see on the 10th, um, actually on the uh, 11th, there's this uh, MACD bearish crossover. Um, so let's look at the next chart. The next chart is a monthly chart. Okay, and, and this is going to show where support is currently. Um, SUNE is hitting this um, 2012 support levels. So back here in um, uh, August, uh, September, October, uh, November, December area uh, back in 2012. This was a level of resistance until the share price broke above it. And now this th this should be a level of support. As you can see, that, that level uh, took a few months to break. So um, this, th this is a key level to hold on this chart. If the three level breaks, there could be a drop down to 250. Um, as you can see up here on FASTO, FASTO is at extreme oversold levels at 0 0.69. So that's um, almost um, you know as oversold as it gets on FASTO. 0, 0.00 is as low as it goes. And uh, close to hitting the 30 oversold line on, on RSI. And then you can see this uh, earlier this year, there was this MACD bearish crossover. There has been a uh, very large volume on the drop. You can see a um, um, heavy increase in volume. So keep an eye on the $3 level. If that breaks, that's going to um, possibly put the 250 level on deck. Now let's look at a couple of intraday charts. This chart is a five-minute chart. And each candle on on this chart represents five minutes of trading, and as you and th this is the um, the the this shows uh, the trading on the 17th on Tuesday, and um, as you can see the candles were riding EMA's four and eight resistance, which are the green and pink lines, and the lower Bollinger Band support, which is a solid solid purple line lower. As you can see, they the candles are having a hard time breaking that that EMA eight level. Um, they did test the middle Bollinger Band, which is the purple dotted line, a couple of times, but but that level did not break. And so going forward, the key for the bulls is to break the middle Bollinger Band at 3.07. Um, when you see the middle Bollinger Band turn into support, that'll be an er on the five minute chart. That'll be an early uh, bullish reversal signal. Okay, and you've got um, FASTO up here at 51.2 bulls. You want to see FASTO hold above the uh, 50, that that would be bullish. And then you want to see RSI above 50. If you see RSI and FASTO above 50, that would be a good sign for the bulls. And then it, the, uh, MACD ended the day with a bullish crossover. As you can see, as the share price was dropping, there were bullish crossovers, bearish crossovers, crossing back and forth. Bulls, you want to see the green line stay above the red line and there was a uh, heavy volume into the close 
And then let's look at the last chart here is a 15 minute chart and this is a, a two day chart. And uh, this is kind of a cleaner look at the, at the action on Tuesday. And as you can see, the candles once again are riding EMA's four and eight resistance lower, and without being able to break EMA eight, which is the green line at 311. So bulls, keep an eye on that level at the open tomorrow. If you see uh, 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 candles forming above EMA eight, the the green line here, then that should set up a run to possible run to the middle Bollinger Band, which is at 342. Um, when candles form above the middle Bollinger Band, that's when a new uptrend can begin on the 15-minute chart. And then uh, th this clearly shows that there's increasing volume as the price was dropping. So uh, what we're looking for is to see if uh, bounce players were loading for a bounce here. Because um, here's MACD, there wasn't a, a there there weren't any bullish crossovers the entire day, but the green line is the MACD line and the red line is the the signal line, and they closed pinched on the day. So the green line is set up to cross the red line to the upside. So that would be another uh, early reversal signal. So the, the you know the chart is set up for um, you know for for possible bounce, but we, uh, you know until um, candles form above EMA eight the the it, it will equal more downside risk because this is a, a nasty downtrend so going forward for the bulls it's all about turning resistance into support and um this uh sune will not s-u-n-e will not be bullish until you see candles for, candles forming above the middle bollinger band on the 15 minute chart okay thanks for viewing these charts i hope you're having a great day thank you